In the previous lecture, we saw how to calculate VTH and RTH when there is a dependent source present in the network. And now, in this presentation, we are going to solve this question, which I have taken from GATE ECE 2005 paper. And according to this question, we need to find Thevenin's voltage VTH and Thevenin's equivalent resistance RTH at terminals A and B. When you observe the given network, you will find this is terminal A and this is terminal B. So we need to find VTH and RTH at these two terminals. And there are four options given in the question and we need to choose one correct option. So let us find out the correct option. And for that, we need to find out VTH and RTH at the two terminals. We will begin our calculation of VTH first. And after that, we will calculate RTH. We know VTH is the open circuit voltage at the terminals. So this is VTH. And if we assume this node to have a zero potential, this means this point will have zero potential. This point will also have zero potential making potential at this node equal to VTH. And this wire is not having any resistance. Therefore, this node will have the potential VTH as well. Now we will use the nodal analysis to find out voltage VTH. This is our reference node. This is our principal node making all the currents in the branches to leave this particular node. And uh, let us assume this current to be I1, this current to be I2, and this current to be I3. And from KCL, I1 plus I2 plus I3, they will be equal to zero. I1 is the current equal to minus one ampere because we have one current source giving one ampere in this direction. So I1 is equal to minus one. I2, it is equal to VTH minus zero divided by five. So we have VTH divided by five. Now to find out I3, we will first mark the potential at this point. It will be 10 volts and therefore I3 will be equal to VTH minus 10 divided by 5. So we have plus VTH minus 10 divided by 5 and then we equate this with 0. Now simplifying this, we will have twice of VTH minus 10 divided by 5 equal to 1. From here we will have twice of V th equal to 15 and then we will have v th equal to 15 divided by 2 that will be 7.5 volts now when you look at the four options you will find v th is 7.5 volts only in option b so option b is the correct option and uh, there is no need to calculate rth in this particular question when you are in exam but here we are practicing the questions and therefore we will calculate RTH as well. So now we will move on to the calculation of Thevenin's equivalent resistance RTH. And for this we will do some modifications in our network. And we know we need to turn off all the independent sources present in the network. We have one, two independent sources and therefore we will turn off the two independent sources the independent current source we turn off by replacing it with an open circuit and the independent voltage source we turn off by replacing it with a short circuit and now we will focus on the calculation of equivalent resistance rth between the two terminals when looked from the side and uh, we know while calculating RTH, we connect one current source or one voltage source between the two terminals if we have one or more dependent sources present in the network. But uh, we do this only when the dependent source is getting involved while calculating the equivalent resistance. And in this case, this dependent source is not getting involved while calculating RTH. RTH is simply equal to 5 in parallel with 5. To understand this, you can stretch this particular wire like this and this particular wire like this and in this scenario, 5 and 5 are in parallel. Therefore, RTH will simply be equal 
to 5 in parallel with 5. This dependent source is not getting involved and therefore there is no need to connect current or voltage source between the two terminals. So you need to take care of this and when you simplify this you will have the Thevenin's equivalent resistance equal to 2.5 ohms and this is what we have in our option B as well.